Thank you, Madam President, members of the board, and members of the community. I'm here to present a public uh, statement uh, tonight regarding the issue of the district's attendance policy and matters surrounding uh, certain attendance uh, patterns for student athletes. Let me start by saying that earlier this school year, the Board of Education engaged an educational consultant, retired BOCE Superintendent Dr. Martin Ruglis, to conduct an independent forensic audit to answer the question, were the members of the 2008-2009 and 2009-2010 boys basketball team allowed to cut classes? Dr. Ruckless issued a report to the Board of Education that addressed the application of both the district's student attendance and athletic eligibility policies. Following the receipt of that report on April 26, 2011, the Board called for a further investigation to be conducted by the Human Resources Department under my supervision as legal counsel to the district to determine if illegal class cutting occurred <coughs> as well as if class cutting was excused in violation of policy and or knowingly covered up by district personnel. The follow-up investigation has sufficiently progressed to the point where with confidence the following information may be revealed to a school community that has a right to know. First let me address the attendance system and board policy. Over the past 25 years, the district has employed computerized attendance systems, AS400, 10X, and Infinite Campus, uh, the latter of which was implemented in the spring of 2010. When the AS400 system was implemented and later transferred to the 10X system, the attendance codes refer to legal and illegal absences, including class cutting, with code entries that included other excused absence. In 2002, when the New York State um, uh, Commissioner of Education first required a comprehensive student attendance policy under Regulation Part 104, the Board of Education responded by adopting a new policy 5200 that contained very strict exceptions for excused absences. Under that policy, and to date, there is no reference to other excused absences. Notwithstanding the change in board policy in 2002, neither the Tenex system nor the Infinite Campus Attendance System removed the computer code for other excused absence. The use of other excused absence in the case of student athletes and other students in the attendance codes was in violation of board policy and has been for over eight years. The use of that code may have justified the participation of student athletes on teams without being suspended for excessive absences, consistent with the terms of the Student Athletic and Extracurricular Activity Participation Policy, that's Board Policy 5441. Upon learning of this systemic failure in the operation of the attendance system, the Board of Education sought answers to these questions. How could this have happened? Was there malfeasance or only nonfeasance? Should there be accountability in the form of disciplinary proceedings? Our investigation revealed that when the new attendance policy was implemented in 2002, there was a lack of administrative oversight that resulted in the continuing use of the other excused absence code in the student attendance system. That system's failure was not recognized until the time of the Ruglis report. That lack of administrative oversight was not corrected when Infinite Campus was coded in 2010. Let me now address uh, the personnel-related investigation. Over the course of the past two months, an investigatory protocol was established for the interviewing of witnesses and, in the process, 57 employees and members of the Board of Education were interviewed. Those called to be interviewed to date included 30 teachers, 10 administrators, 3 attendance staff members, 3 technology staff members, 2 coaches, clerical staff, and a student. The interviews and the investigation evidence the extensive use of the other excused absence code and the coding of certain excused absences 
of questionable validity to justify numerous student absences with the resultant substantial loss of seat time in the classroom. As applied, absences could be excused under the attendance system based upon the presentation of a parental note, a teacher note, or an administrator's note. Each kind contributed to the many other excused absences. <coughs> the interviews also revealed that the Board of Education over the past few years made inquiries into attendance issues, including concerns that student athletes had excessive absences and were still allowed to participate in team sports. They were categorically assured by administrators and coaches that policies 5200 and 5441 were being strictly enforced. Enforced. Clearly that was not the case. Now I'd like to turn to disciplinary considerations. To the extent that there exists reliable evidence of neglect of duty and or conduct on becoming professional staff members, it has been and remains the board's policy to address the same through due process pre-disciplinary proceedings. When charges are brought, privacy rights are respected until the final disposition of such proceedings. If disciplinary charges are sustained, they become a matter of public record shortly after they are received. Now let me speak to remedial actions available to students. As a consequence of the failure to implement policy 5200 as written, the superintendent and board of education encourage all affected student athletes and all other affected students who have not graduated to take advantage of opportunities that the district offers to prepare them for regents examinations that are needed for diploma requirements. More will be forthcoming from the superintendent in this regard. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Councillor. The supportive strategies are organized ongoing daily regents review study sessions with individual teachers, organized ongoing daily peer regents review with AP students, organized ongoing daily tutorial ses sessions and regents review with tutors from Mount St. Mary College, set up periodic parent meetings via, via phone or in person with guidance staff to discuss student progress and expectations for graduation. Enrolled students in summer school, courses to afford AIS opportunities for failed regents exams, as well as potential for recovery from failed courses. Enrolled in AIS courses for the school year, afford of opportunity to audit courses for supplemental academic and tutorial support. Collaboration with Basketball Booster Club or any other athletic booster club to organize ongoing academic tutorial opportunities as well as socio-emotional support. Collaborate with community members, including AAU coaches, to organize ongoing academic tutorial opportunities as well as socio-emotional support. Ongoing outreach to parents by school counselors. Created and collaborated with on academic blue sheets. That concludes the list at this time, but we will be working in collaboration with other groups to add to these uh, supportive strategies. Thank you.